Hello guys, and this time it's a quick review on the PGA 2. I'll start from the visuals. Visually and atmospherically this game is fantastic. It's by far the best redemption of the courses I ever seen. The blades of grass and trees move by the winds. The winds cast and the variable speeds as the oceanside waves crash along the beaches. The stands filled with fans cheer you on as you hear roars from the other holes during tournament play. The sand and grass variations and stunning from the spot, on more patterns to varying textures of smooth bunkers and curious beaches. They really nailed the immersion. About the gameplay and RPG elements. You start off creating yourself a fantasy golfer with the very basic skills. As you play more rounds, you unlock skill points which can be addressed into different categories and subcategories, from overall power to approach game, shot game and putting attributes. As you progress these skills, you unlock and use shot tabs to help you around the course from high flop shots that land softly to low spinning shots that check quickly and limit the rollouts. Each shot tab also has requirements from skill attributes that will level up in 3 stages from bronze to gold. The higher the level, the more accurate and less affected by swing penalties from the full swing points of timing. All in all, the swing mechanics are very similar to any other game with the joysticks. Note there is no trickly swing mechanic in the game. About the difficulty. Here is where I feel the most bad reviews are coming from. You cannot just load the game up, create a golfer and expect to be the next Tiger Woods out of the gate. Unless you are playing as in a game pro, practice makes perfect. I have had in this game seen the pre-order early access launch and have logged out 16 hours at the time of this review and have leveled up to about 30 level or so. And guess what? I'm only rated 18 while the top pros are stuck around 92 gear or take. I still have plenty of rounds left until I max out my stats. I'm guessing I'm about halfway since some stats such as power and putting cost more skill points as you level them up higher. I took the approach of unlocking the short game and accuracy more heavily than the power which does prove to make most courses very difficult. Regardless, I have already had a tour of 58 of the Harbour Town, which is a shorty course that rewards course management versus powering it down the fairway. On a lot of holes, I find myself finding a power sense of accomplishment and the birdies feel that much more rewarding just like a real golf. About the bugs. Here are the issues which I hope are addressed by EA and I have seen other posts on the forums and have seen EA community managers responding to, so it does give me help. Putting grid. Since I like to play on the two difficulty modes, I do not receive a put review line. And rely on the putting grid lines on the queen. The grid line will tell me to put in smoothing left to right, and when I strike my ball, to put will break in the opposite direction. However, if you play on the pro or arcade mode, the grid lines will remain incorrect but if you put review line will still show you the correct direction. Challenge modes. Challenge in challenge mode are a nice break and a good way to earn some extra XP and in-game currency for clubs, clothes, etc. I have found the multiple challenges. Four so far that after completion I have not been given credit for and the game does not show the requirements as having been met. Just all the green lights. I have seen a few holes consistently where my approach shot just trickles off the green and into the row, only to see my next shot on the top of the hill 15 yards out or having to hit back over the green side bunker I clearly did not quite make the green. About the performance. The game has run very smooth on max settings in 2048, x 1080 getting around 78-85 FPS for me. 3840x2160 turned into a lucky difficulty.